Gorman dies. Give me a rare candy. Baby was the first one off the top. Snorlax, Hyper Potion, Porygon, a bunch of special energies. What's not to like? Today, we're gonna take a look at a new Porygon variant featuring all of those cards and more. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is a video that uh, I think is a little too short in terms of the content because we have some busted games in terms of how the deck sets up, but our opponents are maybe not the greatest. I feel like we could have had more competition for this deck. This deck deserved more competition. You'll see what I mean in just a second. But before we get started here, make sure if you're not already, please, please, please subscribe down below. Hit that red subscribe button if you've seen these videos on your For You page. If you've clicked a few of these videos and you're still not subscribed because you're a stingy little YouTube subscriber guy and you're like, hey, I'm only going to give my subscription out to the biggest and best channels. Well, why not use it on me? It's free. It's the freest thing you can do and it'll make me so happy. So please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and maybe even drop a comment down below that I could read and either feel great about myself, feel bad about myself, or uh, feel weird about myself because there are some of you. I'm looking at you, Spoon RX. Anyway, this is our Porygon Z deck. So this is the main feature Pokemon here with the crazy code ability can attach as many special energy cards uh, from your hand to your Pokemon during your turn as you'd like. So we have our special energies that we'd like to use. Capture energy is nice for getting Pokemon out in the early game. We have powerful energy here to give our colorless attackers boosted damage. And then our recycle energy, which is probably the best energy in the deck. It allows us to reuse them every time we want to retreat. Or if we attack with Cramorant, they go back to the hand. Or if we get knocked out, then we get our recycles back to hand. Our main attackers to be powered up with the Porygon Z are our Snorlax. Hilariously enough, I thought that this Pokemon was only going to be in here for the ability Gormandize, but actually, in fact, turns out to be a really powerful attacker. So Gormandize, we can fill our hand up to seven, and then with the Body Slam attack, we can do 100 damage, and obviously that gets augmented for the amount of powerful energy that you have attached to Snorlax. We also have Dubwool. Dubwool is a very nice attacker in the late game because it can do a ton of damage depending on how many prizes your opponent has taken. We also have a Cramorant with that nice spit shot attack and to be able to snipe things on the bench. Usually in decks like these that are trying to set up stage twos, we don't really have a ton of room for boss's orders. I know decks like Eternatus, maybe even ADPZ, can afford to play four boss's orders just because they're not really trying to deal with trying to set up a stage two. They have a lot more room. Our last attacker is the Eevee and Snorlax GX. This is kind of a nice little guy because it has Dump Truck Press, going to do more damage against VMAXs, and Megaton Friends is a consistency attack. If you find yourself with low cards in the late game, you can draw up to 10 here. Pretty crazy little GX attack. Got support Pokemon as usual, one Crobat, one Dedenne, one Eldegoss, and one Mew to prevent those pesky Picaram decks from tag bolting our boys on the bench. Coming down into the items, we got our four rare candy. We got some, uh, some draw here in the form of Research and Marnie. We got a couple of of tools in the form of Cape of Toughness and Air Balloon, and the most important card, the most interesting card, and the one that combos so well with Recycle Energy is our Hyper Potion. So Hyper Potion says heal 120 damage from one of your Pokemon that has at least two energy attached. If you healed any damage in this way, discard two energy from it. So you get the idea, right? You can put all your Recycle Energy on a Pokemon. It might take a hit, especially if it has a Cape of Toughness on it, and then you can just play Hyper Potion on those you know, on that Pokemon that has the damage, pick up the two Recycle Energy, and then they're back to your hand and you can reattach them with the Crazy Code ability. So Hyper Potion is basically like a free heal in, you know, one card. It's amazing. As long as you have the Recycle Energies down, you're not really losing too much by playing it. So this is the deck. I think the concept is super, super strong. I'm really excited to see where you guys go with it. I know a lot of people in the comments are like, hey, I've already played this deck and this is what I like to play in it or this is how I've imagined that variant to be. And if you're one of those people that loves to share your deck list, please make sure to drop it down in the comments below or even drop it in the Discord that I have down in the description as well. So that is it for me today. Let's go take this thing on the ladder. All right, here we are, everybody. I just got finished with five hours. Wait, what time did I start? 10 o'clock this morning? It's 3.30 now. Five hours and change of <laughs> coding. 
Oh, buddy. The grind never stops. The grind never sleeps. Okay. This doesn't seem valuable. Uh, we get out of Porygon for sure. Where are our attackers? Okay, we got the the Dabulski. We're going to need Crammy as well. Let's see if... Okay, we also have a Porygon 2. I think what I do, though, is I go here. And I think I play this because we really want to get into... Like, we desperately want to get into a rare candy. So we'll Gormandize. Give me a rare candy. Baby was the first one off the top. Let's go look at this hand. The insanely pogged start. The frying pan, bro. Wait, we're in the expanded format. No! <laughs> no, we're in expanded. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. So, we'll crazy code. If we can win a game in the expanded format with this deck, I mean, come on. Then you, you gotta give it to me as the greatest Pokemon player of all time. Alright, we're gonna go to the active because, like, why why not, dude? It's, it just would be even more special. Didn't do it. We can still dig, though. We can still... There's still some digging to be done. Ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ourselves a Dediner. Don't drop that dead then, eh? Give me the Porygon 2. Yep, pitch it. Goodbye, sir. Give me two. Oh, you're so close. All right, now we have a choice as to whether or not we want to... Well, we could dig even more, dude. Come on, dude. We could dig some more, dude. All right, tell you what. I think it's too important. I actually do think it's too important here to uh, to not dig more. All right. So we'll take nothing. Give me a quick ball. My opponent's just probably sitting there like, bro, please, please hurry up. We'll go crazy code onto the active. We need one more. We need one more energy. Come on. Let's go. He's done it. Uh, and then we'll go Bodhi, Bodhi Slam for the two-hit knockout. A heads flip would have been Gorge. I hate that we discarded a boss, but I think it was all worth it. I hate that they played Field Blower here. Should have been Tool Scrapper, IMHO. They scoop. We. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's get it. Let's get back into the standard format. I'm sure there were some of you guys that were like, as soon as they played the frying pan, that you were like, oh no, JW's done it again, you silly, silly boy. This was not supposed to be a standard deck. It was supposed to be an expanded deck. But that's what happens when you code for five and a half hours straight. Sometimes you wind up in a place you didn't think that you'd ever be. I've had that happen a few times before. Like in real life. Um... Trying to think of the best time where I wound up somewhere that I wasn't supposed to be. Well, there was one time where I slept in a hotel room with two middle-aged mothers. That's a story. Should I tell that story? Press one down in the comments below if you want me to tell that story. Okay. Did you press one? Did you press one? You did? Okay, I'll tell it. So... So I was going to Boston Worlds in 2015. And oh, Pogged, Pogged start for my opponent. Um, do we want the capture? I kind of want this down. Let's do that. I don't I don't know what my opponent's gonna be playing. So let's just do that. We'll Gormandize. For sure. I think if we attach the capture. I mean, the recycle, it goes back to our hand. So the capture thins the deck and also gets rid of a card from our hand. But do we value the energy enough to keep it? 
is the question. What are the chances of us hitting a Porygon Z? How badly do we need to capture? <laughs> okay, I'm going to capture. That just seems like the objectively correct play. So let's capture. Let's get ourselves a Crammy. Let's go ahead and retreat. Give me a rare candy, baby. First card, please. Dang. Dang! Dang! <laughs> um, so anyway. I was going to Boston World out of Cleveland. This was like before orientation started. I actually missed orientation at the Cleveland. Dude, don't do it. No. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I would have had to have words. Rare Candy Me. The squad's all here. Um, we actually want to attack with the Snorlax. So I'm going to I'm gonna give it a powerful... Um, and then let's... Because they probably have Bird Keeper and they'll probably take a knockout if they could. So let's go ahead and... I think we can pitch a Porygon. I need two powerful energy. I think that's just going to be... I like the Recycles as well. Because they can also use the port. All right, well, let's get rid of a powerful. That hurts for sure. But uh, I think it needed to be done. All right. I think I would have liked to give up any other card there. But that's okay. So anyway. Long story short, even though I haven't even like begun to tell the story. Give me a rare candy, please. That's all I ask of you. Dang. Out of Cleveland orientation week. So we're going. I, and, and I'm at the airport. And they're like... You know, I'm, I'm eating my Chick-fil-A sandwich because they just finally put a Chick-fil-A in the Cleveland airport. And I was eating my Chick-fil-A and I checked my phone. Phone, I get a notification. It says, you know, you've gotten a new email. They are no longer doing flights out of Cleveland. So you're, you know, Cleveland to Boston has now been delayed. And you're going to have to figure out, you know, like you're going to have to come to the desk and uh, and figure it out. And I'm like, oh, snap. So what I have to do is I, I go to the desk, right? And I'm at the desk and I'm like, can you help me? Can I have like some help here? And the woman was not, I got to say, the woman was not particularly helpful. Um, dude, insane. All right, give it. I need it. Reconde. Rakonde. Uh-huh. Crazy curd. Crazy curd. We could um I think we just draw. I think we just draw four. I think we're gonna get it here. Give me a give me a Gormandizer. Gormandizer, Gormandizer. Oh, you're a Gormandizer, baby. That's great. We just need one more card. We need one more energy, and we're kind of we're smacking. But um so then I pull out a line because she's like, you can have a voucher or uh, we can get you on the same flight tomorrow. But if I had gone on the same flight tomorrow, then I would have definitely missed the day one competition of worlds. So I'm like, okay, I, I understand. You can't really work with me. I was like, could I maybe, you know, could, could you get me out of like, Akron or you know some other place and and they're like no and so I'm I'm thinking about what to do because at this point I'm thinking like shoot man do I have to do I have to uh drive like do I have to get a rental car and drive like 12 hours to Boston that sounded horrible so I pull off to the side but I was calling friends I'm like hey what should I do guys like how do I get here is anyone going to Boston now because you got to think that this is Thursday before I got in really late yo Again, the most pogged start. Crazy code me. I wish we had one more card. You hate to see it. Um, Actually, we need to shuffle the deck because all of our... Didn't we Marnie before? Didn't we Marnie first? Yeah, I think we Marnied first, so all of our energy was at the bottom. So actually, I'm a genius. 
Bow down in my presence, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, great. So then let's uh, let's go ahead and do this crazy code. Crazy coded up. Knockout. Um... Do that, I guess. Uh-huh. We could... We could snipe the Rowlet. And, like, we could we could snipe the Rowlet if we wanted. I kind of like keeping the Snorlax active. Because he can take double knockout, so... Let's go ahead and body slam. But, uh, so then, I step out of line... Oh, boss's order's huge. Huge draw. Step out of line, and I'm like, well, actually, we're going to pitch the boss's orders, aren't we? Because we need to look for the, um, we need to look for the heal. So, I overhear this woman. I'm out of line, right? I overhear this woman, and she's like, okay, yeah, she's talking to one of the other attendants. Like, not the one that I worked with, because mine was particularly unhelpful. But she talks to the other one, she's like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pit, uh, Detroit. Yeah. Okay. We're okay. So send me to Detroit. I'll take a flight out of Detroit tomorrow at, you know, it was supposed to be like six in the morning or something, six to Boston. And then it is like a two hour flight. And then if I landed at eight 30, I could get to the, I could get to the place by time. And so let's see, Cape of toughness should go. Cape of Toughness should go, let's see, 50. Does that matter if we add an extra 50? We got 40 left. That's 90. No, that's perfect math for him. So let's do that. We got to shuffle the deck because we're looking for the Hyper Potion. We're looking for this baby. Just give it to me one time, please. Crazy code. Let's, um... It's crazy code the Cramorant because we could retreat the Snorlax, honestly. Give ourselves two turns to, uh, to find the Hyper Potion. Yeah, I'm going to need it. Okay. And then let's do this. Let's... I kind of do want to take out the active, right? But the problem with doing so... Is that... We give ourselves a lot more flexibility if we knock out with the bench. They're going to scoop! Let's go! Why? Why would you scoop? Why? Why? Was it because I took too long telling my story? So anyway, I overhear this person. She's like, okay, Detroit, 6 a.m. And I'm like, I got to do what that lady's doing. So I talk to this woman and I'm like, hey, are you going to Detroit? Like, what's your deal? Like, how, how are you? Because you also got to keep in mind, at this point, I can't rent a car. Like, I, I'm 23, so I can't. Like, I'd have to have somebody else rent a car for me and then, you know, or I don't, I don't really understand how I would have rented the car over to Boston in the first place, but like, I was trying to figure that out. And so, dude, pockets start once again. And so, dude, this Snorlax is insane. So then, um, I overhear this one. I'm like, Hey, you gotta, you gotta get me on the, the first flight there. Gonna need it. She's like, okay, I'll, I'll do that. You know, I talking to the receptionist. She's like, okay, I'll do that. I will get you to Detroit tomorrow morning. And so I'm like, okay, I talked to this woman. She's like, okay, I'm going to rent the car. I'm going to go up to Detroit, dude. Cause she was a businesswoman. She had to get there, uh, for a business meeting or something like something like kind of big. So she like needed to be there that morning. And I'm like, Hey, you and me, I know this is kind of weird. But I need to get, I'm going to Detroit. You're going to Detroit. She's like, you know what? This is very weird, but we're both trying to get to the same place. So let's just take, take the trip together and, you know, we'll figure it out on the car ride. So that's what we did. Um, let's see. They didn't play a supporter. Dang it. All right. 
I hate to do it, but I think we gotta. I hate to do it. That's a pretty good hand. But I, I don't think we can Marnie them. <gasps> Pog? I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. I think we could take a knockout here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh give me the busted crammy? Cram my rant? Or the busted double wool ski. I think the double wool ski is gonna be better for us. Ah, uh, no, no, we're good. 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 Because we're taking a knockout here. Guaranteed. No cap. Guaranteed KO. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Our third powerful energy, dude. Our Snorlax is swole. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go here. Sure. No big deal. And then body slam me, baby. Let's go. Yeah, and you're paralyzed. What do you think about that? Huh, buddy? So, anyways, so it's me, this other woman, and then a third woman that also is doing the same thing because she has to get to Boston at the same time. It's the three of us. We pile into a rental car. We talk the whole way. It was kind of funny, kind of awkward, as I would imagine you could expect that kind of stuff to be. And then, um, yeah, and then we make it and, and we make it to Boston. And I get off the plane and I run down the stairs and then I get into uh, the hall right at nine and somebody hands me a deck and I catch the opening ceremony and then I proceed to go like one four drop at Worlds. But I made it. And that's the most important thing. So super epic time. Um, I'm actually considering gormandizing here. I think we just... I just... I worry like... I worry about not having stuff in hand. If we could get another powerful energy, that would be awesome. But let's go ahead and body slam. I think we can afford to do damage. It's it's a tough call, though. It's a tough call. So anyway, that was my world story. I'm sure some of you guys have heard it. If you, um, if y'all had been uh, been around the stream long enough, but epic, epic gamer moment for sure. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and quick ball. I think I will take out a Dadini. Don't drop the Dadini. Snorlax, you legend. Bro, I thought that this Snorlax was just going to be good for the ability. It has turned out to be an insane call, just like in general. What a god. Snorlax, you got it. And even if they draw a Welder or something, they're not taking a knockout, right? Maybe they are. Let's see. They're doing 210. Yeah, you're done, bud. You're done. Insane deck, insane list. Guys, if you want the list, hop on into the description below. It's going to be down there. And you can also go check out some of the other stuff I got going on. We run a podcast every single Wednesday night. Tag Team Pokemon Podcast. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you get your podcasts. Also on TikTok. Also got a Twitter. Find me there at Real John Walter. And I run a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Flex Daddy Righteous. That's going to do it for me today. This deck was absolutely slamming. I hope you guys have as much fun playing it as I did. That's going to be it for me for now, guys. If you liked the video, please make sure to comment down below, leave a like, and hey, if you're not already subscribed, which I don't know why you would be, honestly, but if you're not already subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button and let me know that, uh, that you love the channel. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Remember, good luck and also have fun.